using Scriver to create APA citations for websites from the Los Angeles Southwest College Library. So you're working on your research project or annotated bibliography, and you've located a great article on the internet. And you need to create the citation in APA style. So first, you need to identify the different elements that will go in the citation. You need to identify the author or the creator of the article. You need to identify the date of publication, or in many cases, the updated date. You also need to identify the title of the web page. In this case, it's five ways social media affects teen mental health. Next, you need to identify the title of the website and the URL. After you identified all those elements, you can create the citation from scratch or you can use a citation generator. We recommend the citation generator called Scriver, and you can just go into the internet and search for Scriver or look it up. And that is scribbr.com. When you get to the page, you're going to click on Citation Tools, and you're going to click on APA Citation Generator. The next step is to select the type of source that we need to cite. In this case, it's a website. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a website. The next step is to provide the information that this form is asking. This tool will provide the information for us, but I first need to insert the URL of the website. So for that, I'm going to go back to my article. I'm going to copy the URL. Next, I'm going to go back to Scriver, and in the URL text box, I am going to paste it. Next, I'm going to click on Search. If you're presented at Menu, select the most relevant item. Then Scriver automatically fills in a lot of the information for us. It's pulling the information from the metadata on that website. But before I continue, what I need to do is double check to make sure that the information is correct. So what I'm going to do is open up both pages side by side so that I can compare them. So then I'm going to start from the top. The title of the page is not the correct title on the actual website. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that title and paste it into the title text box. In APA style, Titles of web pages use sentence style capitalization. You only capitalize the first letter in the first word of the title or the subtitle. Everything else is in lowercase, with the exception, of course, any proper nouns. So I'm going to change the capitalization in my title and move on to the next elements. The URL is correct. Scriber was not able to identify an author. So I need to manually put it in. So the last name is Gordon. And it's not asking for a first name, it's just asking for the initial. So in this case, it's just the S for sharing. The date of publication is correct. It also identified the title of the website. So after I've made sure that all of the information is accurate, I'm going to click on Site Source. And now I have the proper citation for this website. I can click on it to copy and I can go into my references list and paste the citation. Then I need to correct any formatting errors in this case. And I need to be sure that it has the hanging indentation. So I'm going to highlight the entire citation. Then in Google Docs, I'm going to go to format. From Format, I'm going to click on Align and Indent. Next, I'm going to click on Indentation Options. From the Special Indent menu, I'm going to click on it and select Hanging. Be sure that it's 0.5 and click on Apply. And now I have my proper citation in APA style for a website. Be sure to contact us if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.